Hello, my name is Alexander Gorlich. I'm going to tell you about the products made by yacht devices. They are a digital barometer, digital thermometer, and our voyage recorder. These devices work on any NEMA 2000 network. They are compact and install with various types of connectors directly into the network without a drop cable. Here are the devices with connectors for a SeaTalk NG network by Ray Marine. And this device is equipped with a device net or NEMA 2000 connector, which is used by Garmin and a few other manufacturers. SeaTalk NG, Peruna Can, Simrad SimNet, all of these are branded versions of NEMA 2000, differing only in the type of connector. If we do not offer a device with the connector that your network requires, a cable adapter can be obtained separately. In this demonstration, we set the plotter to display air temperature and atmospheric pressure. There is no data now, but after we connect the sensors to the network, they will appear. So we will go down and connect them. This boat is equipped with a SeaTalk NG network, and now we are connecting the devices. The power in the network is off. In order to see this better, we'll bring a five-way connector out from behind the panel. These devices start working right out of the box. There is no need to configure them. Just plug them into the network and they will work. It is recommended to turn off the power in your network before installing or removing any device. And now a few words about the devices themselves. The barometer measures atmospheric pressure in the range of 300 to 1,100 millibars. The relative accuracy of the measurement is one-tenth of a millibar, and data is output to the network with precision of one one-hundredth of a millibar. The power consumption is 24 milliamps from the NEMA 2000 network. The thermometer is equipped with a digital sensor in a stainless steel sleeve connected to the device body by a wire 95 centimeters long. You can extend the wire up to 100 meters. The temperature range covered is minus 55 to plus 125 degrees Celsius. Out of the box, the device is set for air temperature. You can reprogram it to indicate water temperature or temperature in the engine room, refrigerator, and so on. We will talk about programming the devices later. The recorder records all data from the NEMA 2000 network onto a micro SD card. A 16 gigabyte card is enough for 100 to 200 days of sailing. A software program available for Windows, Linux, or Mac OS X allows creation of GPX tracks from the recorded data with extended indicators, including depth, wind, course, speed, engine revolutions, and even the tracks of other vessels using AIS data. These tracks can be opened using Google Earth, Garmin Map Source, and other programs, as well as loaded to a chart plotter. The program can create spreadsheet files with data tables and general vessel logbooks. Let's finally get to turning the devices on. All we need to do is plug them into the connector and turn on the power. There is nothing complicated, and you can do this by yourself. In the manual, there are detailed descriptions of the LED signals. They indicate not only whether the device is connected and working, but also that it sees other devices on the network, indicated that it is fully properly installed. The devices are working, so now let's go to the cockpit and see what we have on the plotter. Air temperature and atmospheric pressure have appeared on the plotter. Now let's look at the Raymarine ST70. Here we can also see the data from the sensors. The sensors do not gather statistics, but only output the measured values. But the ST70 can calculate minimal and maximal values and display the data in the form of a graph. An ST70 and our barometer together comprise a fully functional bar graph. 
In conclusion, we'll look at programming the thermometer according to the description in the manual. This can be done from practically any chart plotter by assigning values for chart datum or magnetic variation in a special sequence. This sounds a little strange, but unfortunately, a more transparent and universal method for programming does not exist. We program the thermometer to return to factor reach settings by changing the chart datum. Now the air temperature is not displayed, but the device is working. This means that it is providing output for a different temperature, such as the engine room temperature. We set the chart datum to Australian Geodetic 1966 and turn the network power on. If the thermometer sees this setting when it is turned on, it will enter standby mode while waiting to be set and display a three second confirmation signal. The network is turned off. Now we turn the network on and after the plotter boots up, the barometer gives us three short signals meaning that it sees the plotter. The thermometer should give a long three second signal, meaning that it is in standby regime and ready for programming. Note that it will remain in this regime only for 10 minutes. So we have the signal, now we can return to the chart plotter. Now, having changed the chart datum to European 1950, we put the thermometer into programming regime. There's the confirmation signal. In the programming regime, with Campo Inchauspa selected, we clear the settings and return them to the factory settings. The device gives two confirmation signals. The new settings start working and the air temperature appears on the plotter. But in order to save these settings in the non-volatile memory, we need to change the chart datum again to WGS84. Three confirmation signals, and the programming is complete. Don't forget to return the chart datum to the value which was present before programming. There is nothing complicated about the process, despite its being a little exotic. This method works reliably on devices of various manufacturers. Thank you for watching this video. To find out more about our products, visit our site, www.yachtd.com. Till we meet again, bon voyage.